how's it going guys? It's Jesse here with another video. Today we're going to be doing the Indian Dictionary Part 2. You guys love the first one so much. Thank you for all the support on that. 127,000 views currently. This part is going to be selected by all of you. Yeah, all the comments that you guys have left telling me to cover certain words. Yeah, it's, it's all going to be your comments. And a little bit of mine here and there. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first word on our list is... Hoyo Rama, or just Hoyo for short. Hoyo is a word, is, is a multi-purpose word. You can use it when you're in distress. Hoyo. You can use it when you're angry. Hoyo. You can use it when you're surprised. Hoyo. And you can also use it when you're in pain. Hoyo ma. Next word is mother. You could either be using it to swear someone, like, hey, you fucking mother. Or you can use it to describe something that's really nice, like, hey, shit, that car is mother. These next few words are pronunciations and not really a different word. Uh, for parents, people say parents. Uh, for careful, people say careful. I, I don't know what that is. I don't understand how we got that. But uh, And also someone said half a quarter pear for avocado pear. I've never heard half a quarter pear before in my life. But a few of you left that comment, so I thought I'd include that. Okay, next word is, uh, what is Waramasdu? Oh, uh, Waramasdu. <laughs> Waramasdu is like, uh, is like a merge word. Uh, it's when you say what I must do or what must I do uh, really quickly. So you get like Waramasdu. Uh, we got some classics here like on the light and off the light. Instead of put the light on and put the light off. Yeah, those ones are common. Also the word sink uh, often is uh, made zinc. People still make that mistake. You guys know what coconut oil is. You use it in your hair and whatever. Uh, yeah. Indians like to say coconut oil. It's not what it sounds like. It's coconut. But coconut sounds a lot more sexual. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not that. Uh, someone here wrote uh, catch bhatis. I still don't know what this means. Bhatis. It's like when you say something is... Uh, it's, not, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Bhatis. And also one of the most famous words is dala. This can mean like, hey, uh, I'm going to dala you, like I'm going to fight you. Or it can mean like, to do. So, hey, dala my work. Dala this thing here for me. Can I dala your sister? <laughs> okay, no, that's too far. I'm sorry. Here are some weird pronunciations as well. Water is uh, often said like water. Uh, wall is often said like wall. <laughs> Earrings are... Earrings. Your hair is your air. It's very weird pronunciations, but uh, you can still understand what the word is at least. Okay guys, that's it for the Indian Dictionary Part 2. That's chosen by you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And just to say, as a little disclaimer again, I am not insulting my own uh, race or anything. I'm not ashamed of where I come from. I'm not insulting you guys. It's just that it's funny to look back at stuff and laugh and laugh at the way we do things because it's different and yeah maybe it's not normal or understood by other people but it's funny right and I'm just trying to make a joke out of it whether it's funny or not is your opinion entirely but just know that my intentions aren't bad it it isn't uh, trying to bring out bring down our our reputation or whatever I'm saying this because I got a lot of hate on the first one. People were saying mean things. Oh, they were saying some terrible things. But you guys know I don't care or anything, but I just wanted to make it known that it isn't the case. I'm not trying to be uh, insulting or anything. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching again. Thank you so much for leaving your comments and uh, what to do for part two. You guys kind of made this video. So anyway, guys, I hope you have a good day. And as always, don't forget to breathe.